Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk about a strategy and a strategy when, you know, planning your projects because I think many of you and, and I've done this in the past as well, so I'm completely guilty. And that is that you tend to, you know, jump into the project and, and you're not planning and, and we're not planning. So we spend a lot of hours and time working on something that might not even make it, you know, to release. and. And that's one of the things that I that I really, you know, if I look back and I and I compare what I did before versus what I do now, it all comes down to planning and, and consistency. So so I'm gonna give you three tips on you know what to do to make sure that we're planning really well and you know we're focusing enough so that we can finish our projects, we can release our projects. So the first thing then and the most important thing is that you have to have a plan. And, and when I say I have a plan, we want to we wanna determine a few things in that plan. And that plan is you want to be able to track your project. So I could, you could use something like Jira, you could use something like Trello, or even, you know, even a notebook or even a whiteboard where you're putting a sticky notes. But we want to know every single thing that we need before we're actually going to be releasing the project. So have a plan write things down and you know and sit down and determine you know what do i know now that i'm going to need to be able to finish the project you know three months from today six months from today and then the next thing that we want to do after we we have planned everything we have we have selected a tool is that we want to be as consistent as we can on working on this you know on this task so if you're working on a task and you're you're decided that you're going to be working on it the next day you want to make sure that you're allocating time to work on those tasks. So one thing that I do and one thing that I that I have done for, for a long time is I use a calendar and I set time for me, you know, if I'm working, if I'm using Agile as a methodology and I'm working on a project for the next two weeks, then I allocate time for me to work on the project for the two weeks. If you're working on a team and you, you know, you have to go to meetings and and you have to do your stand-ups, you want to make sure that you do those and you set that in the calendar and you're following following through. And if you're working with a team, you have to have a stand-up every morning. You have to talk to your team every morning. So make sure that you do that. Make sure that you are consistent with that routine. And, you know, there might be changes here and then, but the, the key here is to be consistent as much as you can in your work, in your processes, because it's really easy to lose motivation or, or you, for your team to lose motivation if you're not being consistent in, the ta in you know, how you're working in those tasks. So, and then the last one, the third recommendation that I give to, you know, to a lot of developers, especially the ones that are, that are starting out, is that you, you know, it's going to be hard at the very beginning to work and, and allocate time and you know, wake up early or, work, or go to bed late but you always wanna ask yourself the question of why is it that you're doing what you're doing? So if you've been working on this project for three months and you're still, you're still not seeing progress, you, one thing that I do is I step back and I say, okay, why am I making a game? Why am I making this game? And then write down a sentence of, you know, I'm making this game because I want my kid to play my game. I'm making this game because I want this game to, see, to be in the Apple TV. I'm making this game because I want my studio to to be very big and, and have a lot of employees and, and have fun while working on the games. So always find a why whenever you're working on a game. I, you know, I always talk about, you know, having a process and also being consistent, but every everything that you do, you know, from, from these three tips that I'm giving you, it, it all comes down to, to your why. You, you always wanna think about why is the main reason that you started to make games because it's really easy to, to lose motivation and, and, and it's, it's awesome when you're seeing, you know, when you're seeing your games released really in the store. It's awesome when, you know, you see your kids, your family members playing your games. So always remember those things. Always remember, if you release a game before, remember when you push that button and that button was, you know, release, release to the store. And, and one of the things that I, that I personally do with, with my family is that whenever, whenever I, I have to release a game, I tell my wife and I tell my kids, okay, we're gonna go and celebrate. So I allocate time for celebration. We go and have dinner at a nice place. 
And we celebrate that, you know, that, we're, that I'm releasing a game. And, and it wasn't just me. It was, it was a team effort. Like, I, I have a wife and I have kids. So there's a lot of, you know, communication that has to happen between, between your family members or, you know, if you're living with your parents, with your parents, or, or however your situation may be, you have to celebrate that moment. So I'm just going to reiterate some of the tips that I, that I just gave you because this is very important to make sure that you are consistent and to make sure that we finish our projects. So the number one, I, I explained to you that you need to use a process and that process is gonna be, you know, to use a project management tool. And then number two was you have to be consistent. You have to have a routine. You have to build habits. You have to always do it. At the same time, you have to use a calendar. And then lastly, always find out what your why is why is it that you're making a game? Why is it that you started making games in the first place? So thank you very much, guys. If you have any questions about these topics, let me know. And don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.